needs to get into difficult to reach communities to get people into health centres so they can be treated safely. But it's also being used in around 20 different countries, including northern Uganda, uh, where it's been used to get pregnant women to hospital so they can give birth rather than at home. Uh, its inventor is Mike Norman. He's a British engineer and motorcycle enthusiast. And this is your latest invention. Just tell us what this is. Well, this is based on the E-Ranger ambulance and it's a mobile clinic. So what it means is that the staff from the fixed clinics can actually venture in to the bush, some 20 kilometres away even, to give uh, health services to the people in rural areas. OK, so just talk us through what we've got here. Well, you've got things that we can do vaccinations with cold storage and needle destroyers. Uh, we can do blood pressure checks, general health care checks, much the same as you could do in a, in a, in a fixed health centre. Uh, weigh babies, scale, you know, weighing scales, baby weights. Even small surgery can be done uh, with suitable you know, medical team out on the bikes. Okay. And why is a service like this so important? Well, the difficulty is for people in rural and outreach, in you know, out areas mm -hmm. to get to health centres. 20 kilometres, if they're sick or feeling a bit rough, can take a couple, you know, 10 hours. So by getting out there with the bikes, which you can do in a, an hour or so, uh, you can give the community a healthcare service on a regular basis. Okay, and tell us about the bike itself. You obviously needed to do a lot of Yes, we do, we do a lot of modifications to make the bike durable to, to deal with the hard terrain, modify suspension, tyres, gearing, etc. So it can get to the places where even 4x4 four four sometimes have difficulty. Okay, well this costs around six and a half thousand dollars it's being piloted in South Africa at the moment but it's hoped these sorts of innovations that get services into the community relatively cheaply can be used right across the developing world to help save lives